Hello creative folks and welcome to another tutorial of Affinity Photo. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix distortion of a lens, especially the wide angle lens. Notably, if you're taking a photo with GoPro, for example, there is two ways to change the distortion of your wide angle lens. First way is in the develop persona. In develop persona, generally, you may have a list of lens profile. First of all, this photo has been taken with my GoPro 7 which I believe Affinity Photo does not have the lens profile, but it does have the lens profile of the older GoPro. So I'm going to do that. Go. So Affinity Photo has lens profile for Hero 4, 5 at the older GoPro, and I think 3 as well. Now, generally, they are more or less the same, not far from each other. So you can that could be your good starting point. So that's one way to change the distortion of your wide-angle lens, notably GoPro. And you can fine-tune it by clicking back and forth and see what is working for you. So I'm gonna try to fix this one in developer persona. The objective is to make the line as straight as possible, the shutter side too. I'm gonna try, let's see how far I can go. So I stretched quite far and the photo is not weird. It looked quite normal. Only thing I have to do is to crop a little bit. So that's one way to change your distortion of GoPro or wide angle lens. So I'm going to reset the whole thing completely and just click develop because that's a raw file so it automatically takes me to the develop persona so now in adjustment layer you can go to filter then go to distort and generally you have a lens correction you actually have two options lens correction and distortion distortion is a manual way to change your distortion i'm gonna try th that here that's pretty easy and straightforward but you have to believe your eyes you have to eyeball the photo and then if it looks good it's good or you can go to same area distort and click lens correction find your lens profile if it's available in this case i'm going to find gopro let's see what i have here if i have gopro or no so it's generally start with g it's quite a long list and try to use shortcut but affinity photo doesn't want to agree with me so i'm going to find it manually so it looks like i have up to gopro 5 black however this photo is taken with gopro 7 so i'm gonna stick with gopro 5 because that should be your starting point they're not really far from each other anyway and then find gopro black and it did some kind of change if you're happy with it leave it as it is but if you are not then you can manually fine tune it a little bit so you cannot do the manual change here what you can do you can click apply and then go back to the same filter and distort and click lens distortion and fine tune it and then see find the sweet spot you always have to make sure when you click distortion two things actually one you are going to lose some part of your photograph because you're gonna have to crop it eventually that's the option number one two even though you can manage to have the buildings straight and the lines straight but you also have to make sure that if there are people or any other object make sure that they are all straight and natural looking if that means that if you have to make the photo a little bit distorted then you want to leave it as it is because you don't want to have weird object in your photograph so i hope this tutorial has been very helpful and i'll see you in the future video bye bye